everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm going to use this new little um, tool that I got here. It's a, it's a funnel type pic picture and I watched Heather Mater's live last Friday night and she used this little picture for a pour and she got her inspiration from, um, it was, Harmony House Art. It was Jan at Harmony House Art. And I went to um, Jan's uh, channel and took a look. And she got her inspiration from Melly D. Melly D Artist. I'm going to list all those names in the description. I won't list all the channel sites, but um, you can just search each one of those if you... Uh, would like to do that and I do suggest you do that because those uh, are three really good artists and um, you can get a lot of inspiration from them and I have along the way. So let's go over my paints. I have put down a light layer of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I am trying to get the cloudy effect today and I am using Melly D's um, pouring medium and what it is it's I put 50% of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, 50% of the Deco Art Satin Enamel White. I thin that with water and then I just put in a squirt of the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish and I did that for um, my colored paints, I just thinned with water and again, a squirt of the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. And I'll go over my colored paints with you. The first one is Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Amethyst. Very pretty purple color. My next one is the DecoArt Metallics 24 Karat Gold. And my last color is a combination 50-50 of Artist Loft Metallic Blue and Modern Masters Venetian Blue. I ran out of this Venetian Blue and I just added some of that Artist Loft Metallic Blue to it. And again, just thinned with water and then um, a squirt of the Liquitex into that. And let's go over consistency here. I'll try it with the gold and hopefully you can see it. I tried to leave it on the thinner side because I do want my paint to flow today. Just a little trace there. Okay. And Melly D says simple is best. That's why I really went basically with the three colors today. And plus my white. So let's get started layering the paints. And I did watch Harmony House Art. I wanna make sure I'm saying that. Yes, Harmony House Art. I did watch her pour using this funnel type picture. Both her and Heather, I believe, um, layered their paints in this fashion and that is what I'm going to do today. No silicone added at all to these paints. And I think I will just finish them all off with this layer. I 
I did make my paints up last night. I find if I let them sit overnight, they have less air bubbles in them. And I do want to say, if you have any questions at all, after I'm finished with this video, please leave them in the comments. Anything I can help you with, give you any guidance, or if you have questions, why didn't I do it this way compared to that way, I'm here to help you. This pitcher does hold three and a half cups of paint. And if you go to um, Heather's channel and Jan's channel at Harmony House, I believe they both put the uh, link to purchasing this funnel like pitcher in their description. And I purchased mine on Amazon. Okay, that's all my paints. And I am going to put down a little bit of puddle of white in the middle here. And I'm just going to tip it both this way and that way. Okay. And I'm going to just be pouring straight up here with this cup. Sorry, it's so quiet, but I, I am trying to concentrate here. And I think I will go up the center again. This is all experiment for me. I have not done one of these tight pores and definitely not not with this picture and now I'm just going to go around the outside here just to use my paints And I will save a little bit of paint in my cup if needed. Okay. So, 
going to torch it first. And I'm going to um, put a little bit of the uh, white paint around my, my colored paint here. to help it move. And I have just a dribble of that white paint left if I need it. So I will start tipping. And I will try and let you see most of the tipping here, if possible. And I do have a lot of paint, so I will be tipping some off. And bring that back. And I will get this far corner here. And I will bring that back. And I really do like this right here, so I'm going to try and save most of that. Put some more white paint right here on the corner to, to try and help that move over the corner. <clears throat> and we'll do more tipping there. And I will bring that back and down. Okay, and now I will get this far corner. And bring that back. And now I'm just going to take a look at this, what I have going on here. What I really like is how when I'm stretching out this in the middle, it's just very beautiful. And I do like this area in here. I'm going to take a look at my corners here and make sure they're covered. Clean off the bottom a little bit. I'm just going to take a look for the composition here now. I think I will just, well, first I'm going to torch, see what we get.
this gold really seems to be the dominant color in this pour, which is, it is quite beautiful. And I am glad that I do have as much of the purple and the blue as I do. I'm getting some webbing effect up in here. And I think I will tip it just a little bit this way. Very carefully. There's really not a lot I want to save in that corner. And this that will allow me to just stretch out these lines even further, which is what I want to do. Just bringing it down now. Taking another look. I am pretty happy with what I have going on here. I'm going to turn it this way. Take a look at the corner. I have one corner here to cover. Okay, and I think I will t just take a little bit of that gold off. Possibly over here, if I can move it. The paint is moving slower now. right about where the area that I do want to pull it off and I will bring it back now and pull it down a little bit Now I'll take another look at it. And I will torch it again before I get you down for a close-up. I'm very happy with this painting. It's beautiful. I just don't think there's an area on here that I would change if I could. And I'm going to clean off the bottom. One more time here. And I will turn it because I want you to see it, what I think composition-wise it would hang on the wall.
and I believe it would go this way. And I'm gonna give it one more torch. My other torch seemed to be running out of juice, so I think I will just give it one more torch here. Okay, I think I'm, I am going to do a little something else with this painting. Since I have paint left in my cup, I am going to add a little bit in this area. And uh, I'll do a little spiral pour here and just see if what we get. I can add more color that way. Quite a bit more blue and the purple in there. Okay. And now I will torch it. And I'm going to do a little tipping with that paint. Tip some off here and bring it back. And you can see just by adding that little bit more of paint, I'm changing the dynamics of this painting quite a bit. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Let a little bit of that run off. Bring it back. I'm going to let a little bit run off down here at this end. And bring it back. Still just doing a lot of tipping here. Okay. And I'm going to bring that back again. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at what I have here now. And I am happier because I have more of that blue and that purple in there. And the gold is not completely taking it over. 
I'm going to just tip down to this corner a little bit here. And bring that back. Okay, we'll take another look here. Really happy with this now. Very happy. Just a little more tip into this corner here. And then I'm going to bring that back. And down a little bit. Okay. That I'm very, very happy with. I think that's beautiful. And I hope you do too. It's been quite a journey here with this painting. Okay, one more torch. And then I will get you down for a close up. Just that gold is just beautiful in there. And I will turn it because this is the way I think composition wise, it would be top to bottom. So I want you to see that. Just running my finger along the bottom here. Get some of that extra paint off. Okay, let's get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. There are so many areas that I really love about this painting. This is the upper left-hand corner. I do love the movement of the paint in this area. That, that dark purple is just so vibrant in there. The gold throughout this whole painting is very shimmery, that 24 karat gold. Just going down the left-hand side here, again, those stripes are just vibrant, crisp, and I am glad I added that extra cup of paint there, or my what was left anyway. And this is the lower left-hand corner I'll take you up the middle now. Very pretty in here. A lot going on there. Again, I like the crispness of that dark purple against the gold. Up in this area, this is one of my favorite areas up in here. Right in here, I like how the lines are just coming through that gold, so pretty. And you got the white showing up. And then this is the lower, the lower right hand corner. 
Okay, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please share it with your fellow friends and artists that you think would like to see this video. And make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.